What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Texas Hot Spot, and welcome to Friday Night Fire. Your boy Goat here coming live from the new studio. I know it's a little bare, but this is the new official studio of the Texas Hot Spot. And during the stream tonight, while we talk about a couple things coming up in the Pepper community and we see about what's going on, and I'm going to be putting together the studio along with you guys with some maybe some recommendations from the co-hosts and the audience watching of where to put stuff. What would you like to see in the background? Stuff like that. But first, I want to show you guys something. Look at this. Look at my new computer chair. Look at my new computer chair. It's nice. And pink. Ah. And very comfortable. All right, guys. Let's bring in our first co-host. He is day one since day one. The co-host with the most. Yeah, let's bring him in. Honey boy. What's up, honey boy? What's up, Zach? How's it going, bud? Good, man. Hell yes. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what Yo, bro, bro I just been talking to Zach for like the last hour about this new computer chair I got. And he never, look, I got a new computer chair. It's hard to see. It's just a chair. But it swivels 360. It's nice and comfy. New did computer I take the, chair. Did I take the thunder? And yeah, and Zach did never even mention he got a new computer chair. It's nice new. I don't think it's new. I think he's, it was just effing with me. Uh, let's bring, <laughs> <laughs> let's bring in our next co-host. I just love fucking with my buddy boy. Uh, <laughs> our next coach, man, he is coming up in the Fifth America's title belt match at Lake Erie, which we're going to be talking about a little today. What's up, Midgey Midge? Hi, uh, what's up? I don't have a new chair, but uh, I got an old chair. That's probably better than Brandon's. Is it comfy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Does it rock if you want it to rock? Uh, I yeah, I think so. Chair. I just had there's a setting it, on the bottom. Hey, mom. Does it lock if you want it to lock? Oh, right look, here. lock. What's up, Ryan, Ethan Riviera, <clears throat> Riviera, Riviera is here, or is it Rivera? Ethan uh, hey, Riviera, three for hot sauce. What's up, Ian? <sighs> Ian in the house. Got a lot of people in the house today. We appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, I know it's a Friday night because some people worked all week and they're a little tired. So they're just like, blah, man. But people that stop by and hang out with us, we do appreciate you, man. We really do. Thanks, Ian. Looking good. Midge always looking good. Thanks, Ian. Uh, yeah, so real quick, I want to talk about this. As always, in the beginning of the show, just to help out our co-host with the most. He, uh, and, you know, look, sponsors wanted, guys. Uh, he's still looking for sponsors. If anybody's watching and, you know, he'll wear your stuff. He'll support your brand. He'll do stuff. If you just, you know, help him get to Lake Erie, he's going to be taking home that uh, uh, America's Belt match from Chris Fergali over at the Scoville unit. So we need to get him there. Sponsors want to hit him up right there. D DM him or email him at ewellbomb at gmail.com. Yeah, DM him. DM. Oh, did I hear you say? DM. Did I hear you say he'll be taking that belt from Chris Fergali? Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you gotta, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to sponsor. I mean, if I need to get a I, light, if I sponsor you, I'd I'd want you to win, bro. I need you to get know. a light like I used to Stay have. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm in the darkness right now. Darkness. I got the light coming in from this direction. If you, <laughs> and then I got a, a you know. My homeboy, no, man, uh, back. it's the new studio, man. My homeboy over at, uh, he doesn't even have a shop name. It's just my brother, uh, uh, down there. Uh, you can't even think of his goddamn name. Can't think of his, but <laughs> <laughs> my really good friend, uh, uh damn, what's Chris his name? Hillsheim. <laughs> Chris Hillsheim. There you go. Yeah, he eat some peppers and bottle dump some tea. Yeah, yeah, all right. It's not for me, and it's freaking sweet. So everybody's got their uh, their name brand logo I see behind them with the Pepper Fuel Dreams and the Creature Sauce behind Midge. 
Yeah, you need to get your Texas hotspot stuff going on up. I know, man. That's what I was saying. I got all this stuff. I'm going to start hanging stuff up here in a little bit, but I wanted to start getting into one of the big things coming up in July, guys. The Lake, 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 Erie, 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 Pepper Palooza. Palooza, loser, loser. Loser, loser. Um, Palooza didn't have an echo. Yeah, so, anyways, oh. this is what I want to talk about. We're just going to get initially into it. And I was thinking, man, what can we talk about? Well, let's talk about what's going on there, first of all. Uh, right here, I have I have it somewhere. There we go. In Lake Erie. coming. No, that's Tampa. That's, that's Tampa. Tampa. That's Tampa. There we go. <laughs> nope, that's Windsor. That's... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, the League of Fire presents the Fifth America's title chili eating belt match. It's at the Lake Erie Pepper Palooza. That's going to have a lot of heavy hitters on the At the card. Erie Sports Center. Yeah, yep. Yeah. A lot of a lot of good contenders on the card. You got Midge on the card. Spoil unit. My, um, Michael Morgan's going to be there. Help me yeah. out, guys. Who else? That Matt Meg? Johnston. No, I'm talking about the America's Belt match. Yeah. Matt. Uh, he's on the road. Oh. I don't know, man. I'd have to look at the post. Who's on the road? Oh, Annie Boyer, Reaper Teacher, is going to be there already on that. Matt I'd Johnston. Have to look at the poster, bro. I believe there's a couple open spots, right? Isn't there a couple open spots, or is it just going to be the people with belts? <laughs> Matt Johnston. Matt Johnston and uh, Farmer Jay. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> My mind is blank, I guess, today. I'm not yes. doing too well. Yeah. And whoever, yeah, so whoever shout wins, out, shout out whoever wins Ethan Tampa. Rivera, he's gonna what? Be I can't wait to see him. He's going to gonna be there, him. man. I got to go. I got to go to Erie, bro. Everybody's going to be there, man. I'm telling you. That's what, yeah, that's what everyone there. said about freaking. Well, no, actually, this one is supposed to be gearing up to be one of the biggest chili heads. That's what everyone said team. about San Diego, bro. Well, hey, Hoodie said he's to be Kind of like a flop. You're hoodie's gonna be, gonna, hoodie's you're, coming too. You're gonna be the one that misses out on meeting Hoodie, man. Oh, I'm not missing out on that. That's my best mate. Well, he's going to Lake Erie, so you better make your way there. That's my mate. Oh yeah, so ruthless reaper hot sauce. He says, <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gonna have a whole booth there. He's gonna be slinging his sauces. Make yep. sure you guys stop by the Ruthless Reaper hot sauce booth there. A lot of good booths gonna be there. Let's talk about that, man. A lot of good hot sauce, uh, you know. Uh, vendors are going to be there. You're for sure going to Sonny Spicer, he's going to gonna be there? Huh? Sonny is going to be there? Yes, Sonny Spicer is going to be there. Is he? He's in. He's into the road to the belt match. We're going to get into that in a second. But the road to the belt match is also coming up. I believe it's the day after the title match, correct? Why yeah. are they doing it like that? I don't know. They should have done it before and took that winner and gave him a shot at America's title. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Well, they, so, yeah, they, they, I think they did that be, for us. The title, the 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 guys in the belt mat, main belt match. So if we lose, we can go in the road to the belt because that that road to the belt match oh, yeah. is for so the next change. for the uh, next one. So yeah, that's another thing coming up right now. Is this we want to get? Uh, this is the one Sunny Spicer is going to be in. Uh, this is the Tampa belt match. So. We got these are good heavy hitters. Too. Oh shit! Drop my phone. These are good heavy hitters too. If you look at them, man, you got Liella from their uh, today's adventure. Ooh. How's that? Is that better on the lighting? I don't know. Uh, Pepper Bay. You got Keith. You got was that Thomas? Yeah, Thomas Ryan. Spicy Tom. Yep. Yeah, dude. Look at all these heavy hitters coming up. Jason Wayne. Ryan. Ryan. Yo, Sean McPhee, Robert the Bulldog. There's Sonny Spicer and Alexandria from Never Better Club coming up on Tampa. That's coming to be that's coming up in like a month. Robert's he, tough. I competed against him. He beat me. He beat me. He beat so yeah, me. that's something else coming up. I mean, I can't wait to see who's taking on that one. Is my lighting a little better? Uh, I still look pink. Sonny, I think you're the the winner, bro. I call it right now. You got Sonny Spicer's bro. calling it. Sonny, quit calling yourself an underdog, man. Just fucking yeah, practice. you got You're this. I've seen you do some crazy stuff, bro. Yeah, he does crazy stuff. Day. Bro, awesome. it's what? Look at that. I think that anybody could do it any day of the week, bro. You just have to be 
you locked in, bro. Some some days you're locked in, and it's a rare thing. But when it happens, you can just go and go and go. Look at look at Ethan. Ethan's gonna be in Tampa too, man. Ethan's going Damn. going all over the place, man. Man, Sunny Spicer, you got this, bud. Don't don't sell yourself short ever, man. I've seen you, bro. Yeah, you've I've got seen you this. Do some bro. pretty crazy things too. So let's do yeah. something a little different. Let's do something a little different. Yep. Anybody, anybody could take it, dude. That's what I'm saying. Let's do something a little different tonight because like I'm, we do want to start talking about Tampa, and I believe Harvest Nine One Two said they were going to be here in the comments uh, to answer any questions. But I do want to talk about these nine holes of hell that will be oh, coming man, up in, yeah. in the Lake Erie Pepper Palooza. This is a putt putt competition uh, with you know mini golf of nine holes and each hole is going to have a different spicy challenge that you have to do i believe before you put your ball uh or even during the game as you go like i think for one hole one hole until you sink your putt you're going to have a maddie's cowlick in your mouth for example that's 16 million scoville heat units and if you're not good at mini golf and you're taking you know six seven minutes to sink your putt you're gonna have that lollipop in your mouth for six to seven minutes and that sucks because then you have to keep going and doing something else spicy and then you have to keep going and something did something so yeah mini golf so that's come there they are right there Har harvest 912 yeah we're talking about the nine holes of hell uh which you know if if they want to hit a little bit more onto that in the comments section, that sounds they can. like so much fun, man. But I, you know, this is just an initial discussion of Lake Erie. I don't want to give too much away. I want I want there to be a lot for imagination for people to actually want to go and and see what's going on there. I don't want them to be like, yeah, I already know what's going on. I want them to go and still be surprised at some of the stuff going on there. But one of the biggest surprises you're going to get for this Lake Erie Pepper Palooza is this sheer amount of chili heads in one spot. Uh, and, and, and a lot of people from the show Super Hot are going to be there, including myself, Johnny Scoville, uh, Mike Jack is going to be there, UK Chili Queen will be there. Uh, so a lot of people from that show are going to be there. All the stuff, all the people that were in the pepper comp competitions, like Farmer Jay, I believe, is going to try to make it there. Uh, Liella from Today's Adventure, Ryan from Today's Adventure. Miguel is going to be there, guys. If you guys oh, don't yeah. know who Miguel is, Miggy. He's our boy. He's gonna be there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I can't wait to see him again, man. He's one. Of I my gotta favorites. get there, dude. I got Chilipino mustache. Yeah, Chilipino and mustache from from the, from uh super hot. Come on, man. You got to go. You got to go. Lake Erie, pretty, pretty, July pretty, man. 12th through the fifteenth. A lot of people. Twelfth through the fourteenth. Sorry. And then, uh, yeah, we got to make sure we get as many people there as we can. Not only just to, not only just to compete, but also to hang out and have fun, man. It's going to be a really, really good time. Huh. All right, guys. You guys want to start? Uh, if you guys have anything you want to talk about, I wanted to ask. This is what we're going to do a little different. I wanted to ask the audience today. What should I put here in my studio? Like as my backdrop when I go live, it'll probably you know it'll probably be from like right right around here, and I'm thinking let's let's kind of put the studio together together. The hot so sauce shelf, man. Wall, and I have I have a hot sauce shelf, but I'm thinking because before when I went live, what you would see when I would go live was this it was always in the back. Remember this? Yeah. I, that was I would. In the back, I think you should put the shelf up. So a lot of people never really got to see my hot sauce shelf, and this is the hot sauce shelf. Yeah, that thing's pretty badass. It all lights up and is really yeah, cool. Yeah, lights up. It's got LEDs, lights, and I'm thinking, man, put the hot sauce shelf up as the backdrop, and then put a bunch of hot sauce on it. Oh, Ryan says a big screen TV with a great PS5. <laughs> he said, oh, look, at Miguel says flames. The hot sauce shelf has the color of flames. Uh, Texas Hotspot logo. I have so many things with Texas Hotspot on it. I can surround that. You should definitely shelf. put the uh, cross, the uh, embroidery that I made for you that has your logo. 
Okay. Ian says, I think you should just do pink walls like Midge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it matches your shirt, mm. buddy. Hey, man, this is my wet. That's, That's so salmon, bro. I'm good. I like this is my Cardi B and Megan the Stallion shirt, bro. Don't be don't be hating. Oh, is that a WAP, bro? Yeah, this is the WAP <laughs> shirt. I love this shirt. All right. Yeah, you looking for some wet ass peppers. Get it hot. Yeah, get it hot. Extra hard, man. Extra large. This is you one of my favorite some shirts. Wet ass peppers. It's supposed to say C U M. Look at this. He says a, a Ghost Rider pyro <laughs> image. Of, yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, I don't oh. give a shit what you put up there as long as the Gabagool poster is there. The Gabagool poster. All right. And don't forget about don't forget about Goot Jalokia here. Yeah, he could fit over there in the corner where he always is. Yeah, man, my big ass pepper here. All right, let's. I don't know. To me, I think the shelf should go up there. You could put stuff around All right, it. Now, while I do it this, you know. this is what I was going to do while I did this because while I hung this uh, thing up, I'm going to post the link there to join in our there stream. You go, bud. Good idea. Boom. The link is in the comments. If you're watching and you're not doing nothing and you want to come on and talk peppers or Lake Erie or the, you know, the pepper palooza and you're not doing nothing, I just post the link in the comments. I'm going to hang up my hot sauce shelf. Cause that's something I thought I could do while we streamed. I know it's kind of boring to watch someone set up their studio, but it's also kind of cool to see a chili head set up a new studio. So, uh, well, as long as we get to look at your butt while you're doing it. So that's yeah. fine. One time I was on the Temple of Fire and uh, I went on StreamYard or whatever with uh, with uh, Jif and I was running the StreamYard and I sent the link out to everybody and someone joined in. I was so excited. I just added it under the stream. But when it all like when it all like freshened up or whatever, like caught up, it was like porno playing in the background. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> You gotta be careful opening up the stream to like anybody. <laughs> ah, someone put porn in it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. Some ran. I don't know who it was, but Dude, they got I wish me. Somebody. I wish somebody would do that to my stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit! It was only on for like a split second, but man, I my heart got was pumping. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ethan members. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, man. <laughs> hey, also coming up on Harvard. Uh, I just want to make sure that people understand what else is coming up to Lake Erie since we are talking about Lake Erie. This is a veterans roll-in. Also, this is a uh, very, very cool. Uh, it's a very cool event. And oh, you got I the Pepper, you got the Pepper Palooza with the League of Fire, and you got the America's Belt match, and you got the Nine Holes of Hell. And it gets spicy for sure, but the main focus of this whole entire thing is a veterans roll-in. You're going to have a lot of motorcycle clubs there. You're going to have a lot of people riding bikes there coming in that are veterans, uh, families of veterans, sons of veterans, stuff like that. Friend, even friends of veterans are going to be coming along. Uh, lots of good food and lots of good live music, I believe, is going to be there. So this is also a big event for the veterans and also what the Harvest 912 mission rolls out by supplying footwear to homeless people. And a lot of those homeless people are veterans. So Harvest 912 works closely with veterans. Tad is a veteran himself. Uh, so he understands what it's like to be a veteran. Uh, I, myself, being a veteran, Brandon being a veteran. Uh, you know, we, we completely understand and appreciate the mission that Harvest 912 is starting to do. Oh, yeah. With the, yeah, with the footwear. and I also, love it, dude. I would love to spend a day with them and yeah. help people. Dude, there's going to be a lot. feet and... There's going to be a lot of really, like really, real really nice looking motorcycles there. So make sure that you guys, <laughs> you know, bring your cameras because there's going to be some really nice motorcycles at this thing when in July. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. 19 Delta Vet right there. Thank you for your service. Awesome. What's, uh, do you know what that is, Zach? A 19 Delta? Yeah, that. Nope. You were Army. You... I was 11 Bravo. I was 11 on, Bravo. Bro. I was a I was a, a gun pusher. Ba -ba -boo 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 -boo. Hey, could you guys could you guys tell us what your MOS oh, stands yeah, for? 
He's a scout. Oh, yeah. And I worked pretty good with scouts. I never had an issue with scouts. I was a uh, a CB. I was a CECB. He was on, look at this. This guy had two jobs. He was a 74 Delta and a 14 Juliet. What's a Navy? Yeah, Navy over here. What? You know. Look, Sip Chomper. 91 Bravo. That's infantry class, isn't it? Oh, Bravos yeah. Bravos are infantry pretty, class. Pretty sure that's a. What's a 91 Bravo? What infantry. Am I, why am I blank? It's been 10 years since I've been in the military, guys. I used to actually know these. Like, people would say it, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, Taker or Scout or, you know. What well, MOS, right? What is yeah, that? I don't know by even, MOS, but 91 what Bravo. Is, what I'm is even sure MOS like, is a moniker for something? What is that? I'm pretty sure the Bravos are infantry class. I was 11 That's Bravo. Sick. Actually, when I first signed up for the Army, I signed hey. up for 11 X-Ray. Oh, okay, he's an all-wheel mechanic. Man, I'm way off. <laughs> nah. Oh, but hey, man, hey. We oh yeah, you're made... like uh, you're like a CB kind of. We have we would have never made it through our mechanics. deployment without the uh, mechanics. So I appreciate every single mechanic out there, man. Because our what's really important when you're an infantryman yeah. is rolling around in them Humvees or stuff like that. So you need. My dad was mechanics. actually a construction me mechanic, a CM in the CBs for 20 years. That's that's pretty cool. Ouch. <laughs> All right, let's hang up this shelf. Of course, Ian got classed after some shenanigans. <laughs> 11 Bravo is infantry. Yeah, it is. All right. B-52 Gunner. That's pretty intense. Midge, my co-host, talk amongst yourself about stuff for a second, okay? Okay. Hi, buddy. Zach. Oh. Hey, Zach. He's leaving. Dad is hardcore. Hell yeah, he is. <laughs> what? So, Eric. What? My dog came I'm going to figure it out, bro. I'm going to figure it out some way, somehow. I'm going to get to Erie, bro. Hell yeah. Even if I have to take a week off and hitchhike out there, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Hitchhike. It'd be more than a week, buddy. It'd take two days to get there, two and a half days. That's fine. I'll Even more. I mean, if you're I'll figure it out, Eric. All right. I'm gonna finger it out. I've done crazier shit. <laughs> now, granted, I was younger, but I think with my life experience, I'll figure it out some way or another. I'll get down there. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. No, for real. I'll make it happen. Uh, I just manifest it. I've been doing that lately. I've just been trying to manifest the things I want, and then slowly it's all coming to me, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got, to, I got to fly around in some C-130s and some Chinooks <laughs> all over Afghanistan. It was fun. <laughs> Yeah, it was very cool actually to be able to like uh, see like the a different side of the world, you know, how other people live and bro, like they just have nothing over there. We take everything for granted here and it really just opened my eyes like to like what the world really is like, you know. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of perspective goes a long way, you know. Of course, the pitcher of beer was four ninety on post, so he'd probably drank about eight of those, and then uh, got yeah, yeah. <laughs> We had a we had a, a like a bar and grill at our, on our base. It was called "Don't Do It, Don't Do It," something like that. <laughs> I'm a stud. Ah, <laughs> I'm, I'm a stud. <laughs> Does that thing work pretty good or what? Yeah, man. Look, honestly. How, how much was that? Like 10 bucks. Hell yeah. I need a new stud finder just for the house. I thought it worked. I just used oh, command scripts to put this up. There's a stud right here. But it's working great. It's, it ain't going nowhere. There's a stud right there. So the next one should be eight 16 feet. and what? 
What did you just right say, there. Eric? How far away? No, is no, it? no, no. Yeah, no. Sixteen inches. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm thinking of for fucking uh, sheetrock, man. <laughs> Should I, put the, now, I was like, now, wait, 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 what? <laughs> should, I put, should I put the shelf closer to the the door? That would wall or the door? Well, the way they build shit nowadays, you better just double check. You well, how old is that house? I mean, you can measure 16 out, but, you know. Hey, man, this house here, when I, <laughs> that's why I was looking at the sheetrock here behind me, because it's not, I'd never finished it. It's, I need to, um. Uh, what's it called? Texturize it, yeah. uh, texture it, and then paint it. Spackle. But uh, there was in certain spots there was studs that were like eight feet, like, <laughs> six, like not even six inches apart, man. Like, like what the hell is this? I don't know. It was weird. <coughs> Probably like, just looking a door at it right here, though, in there or something. There's two spots right there that I can see. Yeah, it was it was really weird. All sorts of goofy shit. Oh no, we're losing viewers because I'm boring. Oh shit! <laughs> Did I knocking? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna go hang the shelf up. Here you go. Hey, howdy! Hey, what's up, Brian? Uh -oh. Howdy, 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 what's up, dog. Bro? How's it going, Ethan, I didn't mean hey. eight feet, man. I was looking oh, at the street. Oh, at my, my buddy's going up. I'm thinking of eight feet. Doing great, shoot. dude. Doing real good. Living the dream. What are you Man, out for a walk? Are you glad it's Friday? Hell yeah. yeah, I am, dude. Yeah. Yeah, plus plus I got paid, y'all. I got paid too, I got bro. Paid I love my Friday. Dad. I make it rain. Yeah, I would say. Woo -woo. Man, hey, Zach, how's it going, I'm buddy? I'm already broke, though, I think, pretty hey. much. Hey, Thirty I, bucks to but, that for all the but yeah, I, <laughs> but, but let me tell you, it's a, it, it's a Friday. It's all good. <laughs> where are you walking? Where are you walking yeah, to right now, thank, man? Thank you for sending the link, Jack. Oh yeah, man. Uh, home. It's always glad to have you on uh, Friday Night Fire with us, yeah, Ryan. But, Yeah, yeah, I had, I had a great time with, with y'all last month, man. We, we totally kicked ass. We, we always do, bud. <laughs> oh yeah, that was Ryan, guys. He must have dropped off. <laughs> Perfect way to end it, right? <laughs> that guy's a badass. Perfect way to end it. We totally kicked ass. Boom. We did kick ass. We always do, though. I mean. Oh. Well, well, that was Ryan, everybody. Yep, that was it, guys. Good old Ryan. <laughs> we, dude, we've went down like 12 viewers since I started hanging this shelf up. <laughs> people yeah, are, nobody people was. are like, nah, dude, I'm not going to fucking listen to these two talk while he hangs the shelf up. Yeah, nobody gives boring, bro. Hey, yeah. man, sorry. That's, uh, we, we, uh, it's been a hell of a week. Yeah, speaking of that, I'm going to go get uh, – Something to cool down my uh, gullet. Mitch, wow. Mitch, <laughs> Mitch, eat huh. something spicy, man. I I don't have anything. I I'm not. I don't want to do tincture. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> dance, dance. And with that, I'm out. Battery's dying. Hey, Your battery Chompers should be dead already. Sip Chomper's always here. We love you, Sip. He is always here. We love you, Sip. Good. We do love you, bud. You're always here. Big old support. This is where this is where your true friends come out when they stick with you through anything. <laughs> even when you're even when you're uh, setting up your new studio, they're always there for you, man. We mm. appreciate you, Sippy. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. Check this out. What is that? No, yeah, no. What is it? It's a seven pot. Seven pot primo. It looks like one pot to me. 
it is one pot that it's in. <laughs> but I think this other one is a seven pot also. It just sprouted later. All right. I think I got it. Well, yeah. All of them, all of mine are looking about like this right now. So pretty good. Yeah, hey, mine, Robert, mine are getting big too. Is here. This is actually the best I've ever had sprouts look for this early in the season. So I'm pretty <laughs> excited uh, for this grow. <laughs> Once I get these in the ground, they're gonna pop up like really good. You know? <laughs> look at my look at my mom telling on me. <laughs> a glass jar to you pound your nails in. I, you know what? And she's right. I would take a mason jar. And I, like, I would try to find out the, you know, the most stable, hardest spot of that jar, and, and I would hit nails in the wall with it. Oh, yeah. Mom over here telling on me. If it works, it works, bud. I don't ever, uh, you know, I got all the tools, but some people don't, bro. Hey, Mitch. You know? Why don't you explain to the good people what it takes to win a chili eating competition? Oh, well. Come on, man. It takes a lot of, uh, I mean, you got to have patience because, you know, if, if you want to speed this shit up, it's not going to happen because you got to wait on other people to uh, finish their peppers before you can go on to the next one, you know. And when I was doing the one in Sacramento, there was a few guys, one of them, Stephen Edwards, <laughs> that dude just oh, taking his time. Oh, wow. He's taking <laughs> He's taking his time, and I just kept looking at him like, come on, man, come on. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you got to, I mean, you got to have like a, a, it's a mind over matter mostly, man, because you have to figure what's going on in your brain. Like, like me, I shouldn't have been doing what I was doing. I kept looking at Steve next to me. Like in the speed round, I shouldn't have been doing that. I should have just paid attention to my own peppers. But it, it, it's actually a good thing that I did because I wasn't ready to swallow. And I, if I wouldn't have swallowed when I did, I would have lost. Because yeah. it was like a split second. He was a split second behind you, bro. Yeah. You got to have a good stomach tolerance, good mouth heat tolerance. What that mouth do, boy? <laughs> Well, right now it's chewing the hell out of a high chew. I love a high chew. I'll just say that right now. My older brother turned me on to those. <laughs> Ethan says, and Dr. B's elixir. No, that wasn't around back then. <laughs> Plenty of Dr. B's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just put a bunch of Serrano's, pickled Serrano's up in my beer. That should be good. I mean, my not beer. In your fence juice. My tuna juice mm. but yeah you gotta be uh you gotta be mentally strong you know in a way and you have to definitely have the mouth and stomach tolerance because hey do you know what do you know what's the peppers just called spit. zach where it just uh hooks onto it like that it's called a french cleat uh just in case anybody wanted to know If it just locks in, if it's got like a, does it angle off the wall and then the other one angles off of the thing and then they go, they out, that's a French cleat, bro. If it, they're, they're awesome for shelves like that. Cause you don't really have to worry about it. You just like, oh, God damn, you got, get that stud, boy. <laughs> yeah, damn, Miguel, for sure, that. man. Don't, don't listen <laughs> to the voice in your head that's saying to stop. That's for sure. Hell yeah, that ain't that ain't coming off the wall. Well, think about it though. It's got it's gotta hold like 50 freaking pounds of hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, you got another one. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, How yeah, do you do that? You just get some sticky tape on there, you put it on there, and you just flip flop, flippy, and then yeah, that's where it goes. And then you just screw it in. Oh, is that not what you were gonna do? That's what I would do. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> they got to be lined up. Otherwise, they won't fucking click, clack, alley whack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's pretty dope. Not going to lie. No, oh, so, the, so the back of it has like little so, to where it hooks on? Bro, it'd be nice if like the shine from the light was right in the middle of the yellow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, well. I don't know. It looks crooked to me. It's not crooked. Look at the top of the ceiling, bro. It's Look perfect. This. Yeah, it's perfect. Right. It looks, looks good to me. I would have I would have went a little bit higher just so it matches the height of the height of the vent over there. You know what I'm saying? But that's that just my OC. It looks great. It does. It looks good. It looks yeah. great because that's where it is. <laughs> if it was crooked, it would still look great. Does it look good? No, it looks crooked. Looks great, bro. Perfect. It is perfect. Look at the top. The, the distance is the same from the top of the. Yeah, it's good. Eyeball that shit. That's what I do. I don't even get a level like you did. I yeah, I didn't. I, didn't I got that, that builder's eye though, bro. He says it's cockeyed. Oh god. I think he just wanted to say the word cock. Nathan, <laughs> hey man, Nathan's Nathan said it looks great, bro. It looks great. All right, we'll go with Nathan's opinion. Yeah, dude. I'm Ethan. going with Nathan. Nathan? <laughs> yeah, dude. I, Ethan, I get out of here. I don't know if you're a construction <laughs> guy, but I'm going with what you say. Hey, listen to me, Zach. I, I do this kind of great. shit for a living, bro. I think it looks great. I think my hat's so dusty, Sheesh. bro. I work in a wood shop. Sheesh, I think it looks great. Yeah, I'm see Miguel. Know. Miguel says if it's crooked, just tilt your camera. Yeah, yeah, look. look. There you go. There. Looks <laughs> straight. Oh yeah, that's straight. Oh yeah, that's good, man. We're good. I got now. I gotta like measure out where this next one goes. Did you guys know I, I, I uh, work in a wood shop? Yes, we did. I made this this week. It's like a river epoxy river table kind of. Yeah, we know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> no, I know. I've I've seen it about eight hundred times already in about a few days. I I use the circle. As like a photo dump for all of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking save all your shit. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, these mango high shoes are amazing. Bro, you don't have to tell me. I've never uh, had those. Never any had of them. the high shoes are phenomenal, bro. It's one of my favorite candies. Actually, you know what's really good, dude? Just take uh, some parchment paper, uh, undo like a buttload of high chews, like a whole bag, right, onto the parchment, sprinkle a little bit of pepper powder on them, okay? Stick them in the oven on low and watch it, right? It'll They'll slump down, and as soon as they slump down, take them out, and then let it cool off a little bit and start folding it, right? Just keep folding it, folding it, folding it until you get all that pepper powder all folded up in there. And then just cut those suckers up, bro. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a banger little spicy snack. And you can make it, you know, as hot or as mild as you want, you know. Yeah, and then who needs James Jackson, huh? Yeah, exactly, dude. Who is? Who even is that? <laughs> oh, the candy man. I don't even know who that is. Candy Dan? Is that how you said Candy Dan? Candy Man. Oh. I don't remember. All right. Now. James Jackson, wasn't that like a famous actor or something? Yeah. Was it? All right, guys. Oh. This is the fun part. <laughs> and this great one like beer. How's that? I appreciate everybody who stuck around to see me hang the shelf. This is the fun part now. We're going to go through sauces to see which ones are shelf worthy. Bro, if they're expired, just throw them away. Which ones are yeah, shelf worthy? Yeah, for the shelf, though. Just keep, them, keep them fresh, bro. Keep that rotation going. So Unless you want to be like back. Vic and have a like nice a look badass back. collection. I guess that's what you're doing. We 
get to take a nice look back at uh, some of the sauces I've bought in the last couple of years to see if they're shelf worthy or not. I could already tell you this has a nasty ass color on top of it. Uh, this is the Smoking Ed's Apollo. Mm -hmm. Look at that nasty color on that. Ugh. Look at that mold. All right, man. Let's let's, let's open that and take a look. How old is that, bud? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna eat it. At least what two years, probably. Yeah. So this one uh, definitely has a nasty. Uh, I'd toss it, bud. You would toss it. I mean, if you, unless you just want to keep it up there for your collection. If you want to keep it, empty it out and wash the bottle and put it back up there. I mean, well, why? That's no, I don't. Like, I don't. I don't keep empty bottles. Empty bottle looks dumb. But what do you guys think of that? Well, uh, just use the sauce before it goes bad, bro. That's. No, I, I'm pretty sure that's bad, right? Yeah, I, oh yeah. yeah. Oh okay, that's trash. I mean, hot sauce don't live forever, dude. It's. All right, so that's one trash. It's a food, you know. Food spoils after the, so the long. Apollo, the Apollo didn't make it. Look, it this. Look at this one. This one's from uh, this one's from our boy Brandon Harris. It still looks amazing. First try. That was a bussin. I don't. How do you still have that, dude? I drank that shit. First try from Brandon dude, Harris. That stuff was so delicious. How do you still have that? That's shelf worthy, right? Oh yeah, bud. He, I, I, I don't think Goot really uses a lot of hot sauce. Yeah, I know. I see these people with like all these hot sauces. He it's opens... not that I don't use a lot of hot sauce. It's that I have over like 150 bottles of hot sauce. I know. We went a little crazy. Like People just give us shit all the time, too. Yeah. All right. What we got? Oh, look at this. Unopened. Contest. I've won so many contests. Dude, oh my goodness, bro. I don't know how you still have half of these sauce. Dude, just eat them. Capsaicin connection still uh still unopened. Is that that's shelf worthy? Uh yeah, that's a bussin' sauce, bro. Who is that? Uh uh Steven Crockett. Uh no. Here we go. Wax sealed robbery. From Randy Kunas Corolla. What is that one? Stephen Crockett. Yeah, I was right. Hell yeah. Rougaru. 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 Didn't he make a tink name that? Yeah, that was good. Uh, good. Unopened. This is Unopened. fun going back. The OG from We Chef. Unopened. Okay, okay. That's, that's shelf, shelf. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I got a lot of good ones, man. Oh, look. Another Wee Chef. This is that Fatali, or that Fatal, with that blue, that Blackberry. Mm-hmm. Way to go, Wee Chef. Okay, you made, okay. You made the shelf. Sean McPhee, that's a, we're a big fan of that guy. We are big fans of Sean McPhee, as you can he's, see. He'll be in Tampa. He's an OG. Oh, this one's definitely garbage. Sauce for Ratu. Remember yeah. that one time they were like legally selling yes. weed legally? Yeah. Remember that. Remember Sauce for Ratu from Creature Sauce Company before it was Creature Sauce Company? Yeah. Shit. There's actually a little tiny bit left. Chug it. Uh, so I got it. That's the that's shelf for <laughs> Yeah, that's the original old ass labels, man. Chug it, dude. No. <laughs> oh man, here's a legendary sauce that I don't yeah, think I'm no. this is this is fiasco from Ryan Thomas. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, that's his Who's that? That's from Ryan Thomas and Cat Crew. Oh yeah. So this is his take on um Tabasco. But it's called Fiasco, and I just loved it, and I don't think I'm ever gonna open it. It's one of them that's legendaries. Very clever. <laughs> Fucking Miguel and his Valentina. <laughs> Valentina is one of the worst sauces. I'm sorry. Hey, man, Valentina is good for potatoes. Huh. That's it. The thing. The, the two <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, there we go. Uh, drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? No, the little the, the, the pinwheel fucking chicharron things that you buy from the guys on the street. Yep, yep. Those two. Hey, it's guys. It's very niche. 
Make sure you go and get your hot sauce holsters from Candy Gator Steve. He makes some of the best hot Dude, sauce holsters out there. I got one over here. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's so cool looking. It's all no, amazing. Mine's all uh, autographed from everybody from the competitions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Legendary. Scrordor. Yeah, that's Scrodor, definitely that, gotta be, that, that's that's gotta go on a shelf no matter what. Yeah, that's, that's, that's legendary. All gone. I got, you know what? I should clean this out. That's a delicious sauce. Oh yeah, I ate that. See, I do. There's can you show that label close up? It's a nut sack. Yeah, and and it's uh, what it's is it? Wayne carrying, carrying me. You up <laughs> the mountain uh, to <laughs> throw the ring in the fire. Yeah, and then score. Score That's the best. That was so stupid. We were all drunk. Think that talking shit was about funny it. as fuck. I don't know <laughs> that was not stupid. It was just, man, it's something else. I love how it manifested into a sauce. Yeah. Chilipino drew that little nuts that guy. No, oh, yeah, like, it's a it's a free uh, Robert, Robert, image, whatever domain, oh. you know, free domain image. But I thought she drew it at first because like she just threw it up there. I was like, oh no! <laughs> but she did. She painted it for me uh, a couple years ago for Christmas. She sent me that, and she painted the chupacabra. Oh, oh, actually, man, I need to get this. those up too. Good. No, for sure this can't be good. Mimosa Pepper Company, clucking hot. That one probably wasn't good to first to begin with. <laughs> no. Dude, it smells. It was a joke. That was a joke, Jim. It a joke. It smells amazing. Go out. I don't, I don't know, know man. It smells like it's just fine. It looks fine. It smells fine. Uh, I don't know. It's I think really he used fine. some clarified butter in there. I don't think that lasts for too long. Yeah, that's what I would worry about because the it's the 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 wing sauce, so it probably has it butter. It smells in. fine. It looks fine. I would probably still eat this. Try it. That was a long time ago, though, Zach. See if you get some botulism. All right. So shelf worthy or nah? Yeah, I mean, I, I would shelf it just because. Yeah, that's good. a classic, bro. That was. A, it looks good. It still looks good. That was like two years ago. Just it don't still use looks it. Looks great. But it's yeah. I mean, that was a good time, man. Roadhouse. Road. <clears throat> Roadhouse. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I, I'm starting a new group, guys. Reefer Roadhouse. It's going to be all about cannabis consumption, marijuana. Mike Jack's Taco uh, Tuesday. Look for that in the next week or two coming up. Taco Tuesday hot sauce from Mike Jack. Hell Absolutely yeah. gotta go on a shelf. Yeah, that's a that's a good one too. You got any of that Mike Jack bath water? Any of that what? That Mike, Mike Jack, Jack bath, bath water. water. Oh, I haven't got the bath water now. Oh man, you should get some of that. It's tasty. Oh shit! Look at like this. Still looking, hey, this still looks pretty good. The Devil's Plague Peach. Hey, I throw that one in the trash. No, that one's probably still good, actually. That smells great. Looks great. Smells. Oh, what's he? You wanna know how you know it's a good sauce? When I just opened it, it released a little bit of pressure. Did it? Yeah. Is that oh, good? It smells good. No, that's called. Uh, Botulism. No, it's not. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I made that sauce, you dick. Exactly. <laughs> Never dreams. That was my sauce, bro. No, I remember um Fernando ordered some sauce from me and he opened up the swamp thing and it went because the you know the suction from the cap, the sure, foam sure. thing. He's like, dude, is this bad? I'm like, no. It's bottled hot, dude, and it fucking suctions the... When it cools know. off, it shrinks down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man. Empty bottle oh. of Ghost of Saffron. That is probably my oh. number one favorite sauce that I've ever had. Just saying. Yeah, Ghost of Saffron. Hotter. Hotter Ghost of Saffron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hotter one, of course. The hotter Ghost of Saffron. That, yeah, that's probably my favorite sauce I've ever had, period, from any, like, small batch sauce maker. The, dude, the flavor on that one, uh, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. What? Because uh, there's a couple other ones that are really good contenders, like that crack, uh, fiddle, the fiddlehead crack. So this is, 
this is a hot sauce company I should have focused more on, but I always said I was going to get into more hot sauce reviews, so I bought this. KTB this model. If you guys never Rock heard of Model Atlas. Citizen, Model Ooh. Citizen hot sauce comes out with some really good hot sauce. This is called the Prim Reaper. It's got Reaper with habaneros in it, and it's delicious. Why is it Prim? I don't know. It just says Prim Does Reaper. Does it have roses in it? <laughs> nope. Just shows a Reaper walking through a graveyard. What's the ingredients? Uh, apple oh, juice, Jacob. onions, apple cider, vinegar, limes, red peppers, Fresno peppers, brown sugar, garlic, Carolina reapers, ginger, carrots, salt, turmeric, habaneros, liquid smoke, and xanthan gum. Okay. It's delicious. I, I'd tap that. I don't know what this one is. It just says pear on it. Oh, that's yeah. a Italian, Italian pear. Italian pear. Italian pear. I think you can go ahead and get rid of that one, Zach. Oh, no, it smells delicious. Yeah, but is it shelf-worthy? It doesn't really say anything on it. This is pear. Where'd you even get that? You yeah, know? you don't even know who it's from? Hi, what are you doing? Oh, stop it. They heard you. Do you know where it's from or what? No? I have no idea where it's from. Then it's not shelf-worthy, bro. It just says pear on it. Yeah, I would have. Smells good here. You know what? I got yeah, it doesn't even have a label. <laughs> it's got Italian a restriction. Pear. Oh, made God. especially for sushi. All and right. it's got a restrictor on it. Yes. Not oh, shelf worthy. Because I don't know what it is. It's Make probably... it Wayne? Make it Wayne? Bro, that's an old ass size. Starshine from Make It Wayne. Bro, unopened. tell me that's old, right? Unopened and look, yeah. there's like chunks. Bro, is that like three or four years old? I don't think it's still good. Bro, that's got to be like four years old. Tell me. No, it's probably like three. It looks like it has black mold. Yeah, I probably wouldn't eat this one. So that's not not chill for from, from midget. <laughs> the original chupacabra. Oh yeah, the, the good original. Shit. Trash it, bro. Good no. stuff. <laughs> That'll make you shit your pants faster than a fucking <laughs> grease sandwich, bro. I know. I gotta clean them out. Botulism. <laughs> Taste the best. All right. So this is from <laughs> not Robert Davis. Who is no. that guy met up with? That chupacabra, though, the original. His daughter was in like the a chimney thing. We met up with him in IHOP. Remember? Co packed one. Uh -huh. Bust. Not Robert Davis, but uh, I don't know. He made this. It's called Venom. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, that's probably liquid death, bro. Can you get them something to eat, Those please? Those guys are crazy. They hear you. The guy you met up with. What guy? Oh, yeah. the old, Look, I got the original Steve-O's. They, they changed the label on Steve-O's hot sauce to be more family friendly, but I got the old one. I have that one. Oh, man, that reminds me. I forgot to That's tell you guys. Uh, I was talking to Bam Margera today, and we're going to do a sauce together. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. Viva. Is he off the drugs, or you support that, or what? No, he's off the drugs and everything. He fucking... Yeah, like Bam Margera's doing really good. He's hurt. He... he, he by MCL injury or something like that. So he this can't do drugs good. anymore? No, he can't do shit anymore. Corolla's kick ass. He hasn't done drugs in since August, I think he said. Yeah, it still smells okay. pretty good. And you're gonna collaborate with him. Yeah. I guess. Yes. 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 No, I'm, I'm just making uh, shit. Up. Another you know what? Let's do oh. a hot sauce review. <laughs> Let's do a hot sauce review. Let's review. Let's a do hot it. Sauce what do you got there, Zach? Huh? What do you got there? So this is a company that every time I go to San Diego, every time I go to San Diego, I meet up with the owner of this company, and he's a really cool guy, and he gave me this sauce for free, and I kind of just had it sitting on my shelf, and now I want to try it. It's from Zam's. Go check them out on Facebook and, and stuff. Zam's Hot Sauce. This is the red blend. So the ingredients of this one, 
So I'm going to open it and try it. Our red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, garlic, habanero peppers, Carolina reaper peppers, ghost peppers, paprika, cayenne pepper, sea salt, onion, and xanthan gum for thickening. And I'm going to try it. This is Zams. Zams, nice. Zams. Might as well do a hot sauce review. Shit, you ain't never heard? I feel like I tried that in San Diego. You yeah, ain't never dude, heard of Zams, he's, motherfucker? <laughs> he's a cool-ass guy, man. And, That's uh, so weird, man, because every time I go to hot sauce festivals, I'm doing a competition, so I don't try a lot of hot sauces. Yeah. You know, what? I don't want to mess my stomach up because before the competition. What? What? For real. Oh, wow. So, it's a fermented sauce. Okay. This distinctive sauce features a blend of the world's hottest peppers, fermented and aged for mellow, upfront flavor with fiery finish. We make this blend annually for our friends and family. Hope you enjoy as much as we do. It's a delicious Tabasco-flavored uh, kind of sauce, but way spicier. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a little... Is it... What's the salt on it? It's vinegary. Yeah. It's vinegary. I can tell from your mouth movements, you're like... You know what I mean? But it's got a really good, really good flavor. Hey, sometimes so, sometimes not. vinegary sauces are good if, if they have the right sure, sure. mixture of ingredients in there, you know? Yeah, this is delicious. I'm about to do a vinegar-based sauce. It's actually I've, very good. I've been it's thinking good. about it for heavy, heavy vinegar, though. For years, so man. Hitting, I want to do yeah, a Louisiana style. Initially, with the Zan, yeah, you're yeah. initially hit with the red wine vinegar because it's like tastes almost like wine at first. But then I always, why do hot sauces always kind of have a buffalo flavor to, of, to them for me? <laughs> yeah. Hits the tongue pretty good. Got a good mouthfeel. It's a thinner sauce. It's delicious. It's a nice fermented red blend of sauces from Zams. Go check them out. This is definitely a shelf-worthy sauce. Hell yeah. Check it out, guys. Zams. 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 Phew, I got, I mean, honestly, I, if I sat here all day and said, what is one? The Flamin' Jamaican Shit Show from Farmer Jay in Wamha. <laughs> <laughs> the Kraken sauce, Siren's Lullaby. Mm. So many sauces, bro. And I, I stopped getting sauces because they're just too spicy for me. This is another unmarked sauce. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because I was, I had all these sauces that I would open up and they would just go to waste and I felt bad. So I was like, uh, slow it down, Brandon. Hey man, I just bought that Inferno Farms one in for what? $2 and 25 cents. That shit's good, man. Yeah. It's, it's hot too. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be that hot. And I got a few open right now that are just really good. Here, let me uh, let me show you the two I got open right now. Yellow is the sun, so delicious. And this one, death death by chocolate. Did you see the new one? Uh, Harvest nine one twelve. Was it a green nine twelve? Did no, it's it's like an orangish. Huh? No, then no. It's uh. Damn, that smells good, babe. It looks good. Linguisa. Oh, snap. We have yet to review this, and we need to. What do you mean? Didn't we review that already? No, this is today's adventure sauce. Yeah, I reviewed it. That's right. Yeah, we need to, I, need to, I need to get on that. That is uh, really good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Four drops at a time. Yeah, right, Miguel. Uh, yeah, for real though. That, that's pretty much how I do some of my sauces because they're just so freaking hot. How hot Here's, is the, how hot is what? Oh, seven pot soy, definitely shelf worthy. Del delicious. 
This hot sauce has cactus in it. Oh, faux so. It's cacti. Cacti. Whatever. Hey, that's what uh, that's what Scrodor has. It has prickly pear. All right, guys. These uh, these shows were designed to last an hour. Uh, well, shit. Oh, we. Uh, are you tired? Are you tired of watching me put hot sauce on my show? <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys. I do have a lot more work to do. But I'm not going to bore you guys by sitting here putting hot sauce on the shelf. We do appreciate you guys taking your time out of your Friday to hang out with us for an hour because that's basically what we did. We hung out for an hour. We talked a little bit about we wanted to initially talk about the Pepper Palooza. There's going to be a lot more talk coming up about it in the next couple months leading up to July. Uh, oh, yeah. We started setting up the studio. Hopefully next week when you come see me, this will all be filled up and looking beautiful with stuff all around it. And we couldn't have done it without you guys' help. Anything you guys want to add before we head out? Um, yeah. Yeah, I got something to add. I, if you guys are looking for Chili Crisp, I got a few left. So hit me up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure Brandon needs your Chili Crisp, guys. Brandon needs to to sell those so he can put it aside for Erie. Yeah, yeah, I got thirty dollars from last week. I'm gonna have thirty dollars this week that I'm gonna put toward it. No, for real, every little bit helps. You no, know? Yeah, I know it. It adds up, man. But that's you know that's after my bills money. I got I got just a very little bit of spending money, so I'm putting all of it away to go, and hopefully I have enough. But if you guys want to support me? I, I got other stuff too. I got some barbecue sauces still. I think let's do a giveaway. Uh, let's do a giveaway real quick when you're done. I got I got one. If you... Oh, I, I had one too. You want to? Do, right. You want to do two? You want to give something away also? Yeah, we can. All right, guys, we're gonna do a giveaway. So if you guys stuck around after all the goodbyes just now, you're in for the giveaway. Okay. The uh, so I'm gonna be giving away these two bottles of Mary Sharps. Marie. Ooh. Marie Sharps. <laughs> so this is the new extra fiery red hornet sauce that you could be winning. And also the no wimps allowed sauce. Uh, Marie Sharps is a, you can find them at Walmart. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Uh, hey, are, what's, are those new sauces? What's the best buy on those? By August, 2025. And March. all right. <laughs> and this one is this one is uh, by the end of the month, so I'll get it out to you. You can not to call anyone out. I want some sauce from a very well-known guy, and he sent me mm. a bunch of expired sauce. That's what I always get from that well-known guy yeah. too. That's kind of well, like uh, not well, what I was these expecting. These are not these are not expired sauces. These are still good sauces. See, Europe. we do it right over here at the Texas House, about dude. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, for the giveaway. I I'll just to... say it was Ed Curry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the giveaway, these are extra hot sauces. So if you don't eat extra hot sauces, I wouldn't enter the giveaway. Um, Ryan. What are you going to be giving away, Brandon? Ryan. Me? Yeah, you giving something away? Yeah, here, hold on. Let me grab it. Mm. No wimps allowed. Yeah, this one's got habanero pepper sauce, and this one is what is this? Habanero pepper, hornet pepper. It's got the hornet pepper in it. All right, ready? Yeah, what are you giving away? Come on. Collab, oh, fuck yeah. Chris. Wow, this is a good giveaway. We got to think of something good to do. Collab crisp, though. This, this is, is a good giveaway. You're getting me and Scoville unit. You are getting two bottles of Marie. So Sharp good. And a bottle of the chili crisp. This, this is giveaway. homemade, guys. You can't get this in the stores. Notice there's no label on it. Just a really nondescript. If you're allergic to peanuts, though, don't enter. Because it's peanuts. Peanuts allergy. Penis? Penis. Peanuts. Penis. All right, the first person to comment, the first person to comment, penis wins the giveaway. Go. <laughs> Peanuts. 
That was a good one. <laughs> First person to comment, penis, wins the giveaway. Go. Hey, did you know uh, Marie Sharp used to be Melinda? My mom! <laughs> what? Hell yeah! Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah! I would love to send your mom uh, something, bro. My mom won the fir her first giveaway. I'm trying to her. <laughs> <laughs> and what a giveaway it was! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And the I mean, word. My mom really so... doesn't do extra spicy stuff, but <laughs> she loves to give it out to her coworkers and her friends. My Hell sister, yeah. My sister lives up there and stuff, so I'm sure we can get it going. Oh, there's Tallulah. Hi. I'm Guess what? Tia. Nanny just won our giveaway. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then she, oh, God. <laughs> I'm not sure. Your granddad's <laughs> right here. Oh, my God. And I think uh, Sip, Sip Chomper and Robert, I think they just want a tight penis now. <laughs> yeah, now they're just typing penis over and over and over again. Uh, all right, guys. So congratulations <coughs> to my mom for winning this giveaway. I'll get with you after this, Brandon. We'll get her address. We'll get them sent out. You know, these are Hell just yeah. hot sauces. You can either keep them or you can have your friends try them. They're just some hot sauces, and that chili crisp is really good. It's, it's hot. It's incredible. It's hot, but it's really good. I think, you know, my mom could probably, if she ever eats ramen noodles, she could probably handle a little bit of it, but she, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, but this Throw one's some eggs. habaneros, so she should be fine with the habaneros, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Congratulations, Mom, for winning the giveaway. These shows were designed to last an hour. We went over by six minutes. Uh, Midge, please make sure that you guys get a hold of Midge if you want to sponsor him or help him get to Erie. And also get a hold of Brandon if you feel like helping him get to Erie. He wants to go, too. Yeah, I do. I really, really, really do. Yeah. I want to all right, guys, we're going to end it here. Uh, we'll be back same time. Well, I don't know about same time. We've kind of been flipping and flopping. Yeah. But we'll be back same spot uh, next same week. Same day. Friday. Yeah, same day. With Tallulah, we'll always be here. Mwah. Maybe a theater in the middle. And we'll have the studio <laughs> set up. And until next time, we'll catch you guys. On the flip side. On the flip side. See you later, guys. <laughs> later, guys.